that was kind of a, a scary one to watch for me later on because I didn't wake up till I was back here somewhere. The case of Gerald's concussion post fight with Hamzat presents an interesting insight into what's called an anterior grade amnesia. There are two types of post traumatic amnesia, meaning loss of memory after trauma. Anterior grade amnesia means the inability to register new memories after brain trauma, which often means after waking up if the patient was rendered unconscious by the trauma. After that, I got put out pretty bad. Um... I mean, that one was, that was kind of a, a scary one to watch for me later on because I saw later that I was up in the cage and everything. I didn't wake up till I was back here somewhere. So like that whole thing, me standing there, I don't remember none of that. So that's when I was like, okay, I need to take a break, make sure my head's good. Credit to the UFC, they, they had no problem with that. They're like, yeah, get your head right, make sure everything is functioning. So after waking up, the interaction between him and his coaches absolutely occurred but now he can't remember any of that because his brain just couldn't register new memories for a while until backstage and that's the period of anterior grade amnesia. UFC veteran Mike Swick precisely describes exactly this after his own match with Mike Brown. I didn't even get knocked out like that bad I think because like I was out for like a couple seconds but even for a couple seconds I was confused for like a long time. Like I was asking a lot of the same questions to the same people and they were telling me that they had already answered what I was asking like multiple times. And this went on for like a while. Retrograde amnesia means the inability to remember events that occurred just prior to trauma, including the concussional blow itself. There's usually a short period of retrograde amnesia where fighters are typically asking what really happened as they are unable to recall what happened just before the trauma was inflicted. This happens not only in knockouts leading to fight stoppage, the classic example being Daniel Cormier asking what happened after the second John Jones fight, but also happens in concussions during the fight itself where the fighters are disoriented and take time to realize where they are and orient themselves with respect to time, place and person. In Zero's fight with Hamza, the duration of post-traumatic amnesia was longer than his previous concussions. Since the duration of amnesia correlates well with the severity of concussion and the power of the blue, it only attests to one thing. Hamzat Shimaev has serious and brutal power in his hands. 